was popping SJS Nation, SJS fam. It's your girl, she Jackie says, and I am back once again on your screens with another video. It's been a while I did this. The last time we did this, we were in Kwewu in the Eastern region for the Easter festivities. And currently it is already May. And what time is it again? It's the time for the aborture festivities inside Weneba, Ghana. So I'll be giving a quick background story to you, all that you need to know about the aborture festivities. But today is just a walkthrough through some of the background and the history of the Winneba stroke, the Efutu people. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into the video. This is the Unity Square of Winneba, as most people would call it, the Beautification Square of Winneba. Now, this place signifies unity, the harmony and the unity that the people of Winneba live in. So, each monument in here signifies something, as the bigger monument over there signifies the unity that the people live in. And this is the deer, the hunt for the deer, and many more. Now, this is also a boat. The people are mostly known for their fishing profession in here, and many more. So, let's just enjoy the view over here, guys. <laughs> for the unity square in Winneba. it is at the heart of Winneba, just situated right at the heart of Winneba. just ask for Winneba traffic light and you would be directed right here this wouldn't be very difficult to miss as i stated it is in the heart of Winneba. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the Osimpom Heritage Center, where all the history and everything you need to know about the people of Winneba are. The natives of Simpa, also known as Winneba, adore and hold in high esteem their principal deity, Penche Otu, for leading their ancestors through the Ardo's journey from Timbuktu to their present settlement. Now, oral records indicate that all along this route, their leaders propitiated the deity for all forms of protection against the numerous challenges that confronted them, including diseases and hunger. At their present location, the annual rites were performed by the principal elders of the Oceanum Royal House who established Simpa, also known as Winneba. Penche Otu and its sons, that is the lesser gods, did enjoy human sacrifices in the beginning, but this had to be changed with the dawning of civilization. So as you can see here from these paintings, it started from human sacrifices, then to the lion, then to the deer. That is currently the one they use for the current Abwacher festival. <laughs> The capture of a live one son, like the leopard, required many more hands than the members of the royal family could find. The additional hands required were solicited from the local militia as the service to the stew. Now it was changed in form and the involvement of the local militia that the annual consecration and the appeasement of the daisy became a public statewide affair. Now this marked the birth and hence the origin of the Abwacher festival they have today. Now this festival is very important for the stew, its occupant and the entire royal stew family. It is a religious duty and an obligation for the general citizenry to ensure its celebration annually, to ensure a prosperous life in the coming years you should pardon me if i don't get the pronunciations of some of the names correct now king bonzi api the second first formed the asafo and named it akonfo later this became the tiafo asafo number one company years later his son and successor a reformist and a pragmatic ruler king bonzi esiedu created the dentifo asafo number two company and established a second house of the Atriano house Piato, and used that as the nucleus for the new Asafu company. He also established and appointed the Tufuhin stew for the Ayipe family as a liaison chief between the Asafu companies and the Paramoncy with two competing groups. The king was sure of a catch each year for the sacrifice. So now we can see that there are two groups, which is the Chiafo and the Dentifo. Now fabrics used by the Chiafo group must be in white, green, blue, and violet, whilst those used by the Dentifo must be in red, yellow, orange, and pink with black as a universal color. Now these two major groups are the ones who compete for hunting for the deer during every Abwacher festival. The Friday preceding the hunt is spectacular for the Abuacher. Now the Tiafu invoke an outdoor jet mensi, meaning restore, protect, while the Antifu come out with Sikamba, a deadly small knife. They are paraded along selected routes in town and intend to prevent clashes, so they all go along different routes. Now the Tiafu are supposed to come out between noon and three in the afternoon, and the Antifu will definitely follow. These outdoor performances by the Asafu are really exciting as their respective head priests carry their idols in trance and miss shouts and chanting of the Asafu war songs led by one person playing a pair of locally crafted oval shaped bells, which is known as the Inkojo. <laughs>
Now, upon the advice and pressure from the national authorities, the Efuti Traditional Council in 1965 finally settled on the first Saturday of every year as the first stage for the celebration of Ghana's most popular traditional festivals, which is the Abwacher Festival. So, guys, this and many more are the things you need to know. If you want detailed information about this Abwacher festival, just visit afutustate.net or better still, just come and visit the Osimpom Heritage Center right inside Winneba at a cost of a cool 10 Ghana cities if you are a foreigner or outside Winneba. For its members is 5 Ghana cities and for children is 2 Ghana cities. Come and learn about the history of the people of Winneba and as I take you all through the festivities of the Abwacher this week-long festival started on april 30th and ends on 7th may 2022 now some of the activities line up for the celebration include a gospel musical night a general cleanup and consecration of the shrine football tournament which has already ended by the time this video is up um, a barsher food bazaar and um, parading of the deities which some of them have already done um, but the major ones would be happening soon. And the major thing, which is the Lemon Thursday, which a lot of people parade in town. And there's going to be a grand debut on Saturday, May 7th, to the climax of the festival after the deer hunting in the morning by the two Asafo campings. So fam, finally we are done with today's tour. At least we've gotten to know the whole history behind the Abuasha Festival. And the Winneba people at large, what they are into, how the Abuasha Festival even came into place, and how it all started. So if you have any other questions, just leave it down below in the comment section. Let's see your girl, she Jackie says. Your hostess with the mustache bring you the hottest, the juiciest, and I am out. so fly, she Jackie says, young YouTuber, always on the tube, trying to make a living. Never gonna...